Hi guys, um, it's been a while, about a year to be exact, maybe over a year, I don't know. And uh, I recently, well I didn't, but my friend recently, I guess, read some of the comments you guys had left on one of my videos. And some of you were asking, when, I'm, when am I coming back, what's, what's happened to me? I guess like uh, freaking five people asked, or one, I don't know, my, my channel has been dead for a really long time. I don't know, after hearing that one comment about where I've been. Um, I, I don't know, I just wanted to make a video uh, kind of explaining what I've been doing and why, why I've been gone for the couple hundred of you that actually care. So after my most recent upload, which was a long time ago, I don't even know, a year. Um, after that one, the answer is pretty simple as to why I've been gone. I just got bored of making videos and making content. And I always felt like uh, the videos that I made were kind of forced and you could, you could really hear and see it in the content that I made. Like, I don't even know how I achieved over 50, 60,000 subscribers with the type of content I made. I don't know. It was probably just dumb luck. Like, my most viral video, the Roblox VR dancing video, has 1.1 million views. And if any, any seasoned YouTuber or any... You don't even have to be a YouTuber, just a normal viewer. If you go and watch the video, you can instantly tell that I really did not know what I was doing. But I think that's the case with every single YouTuber and their starting journey, you know? But yeah, um, if you look at all my videos after those few VR videos, um, they none of them really have any views. I mean, they have a couple thousand at least, each and every single one of them, which might be a lot for some people, but you can understand how after a super wild instant success, uh, you, your video views drop down to below 10,000. Um, you, you, can, you can probably guess how that would affect you. I might as well tell you guys here how how I even started making videos where I got the idea from you know the uh, the beginning of it all at the time when I started recording the first video um I had never even thought about making YouTube videos but how it started was I was I was playing Ragdoll Engine with a VR headset and then one day um this this player comes up to me and she says that hey you you're that guy from TikTok you're famous I was like what what's going on and she was like, yeah, yeah, you're famous on TikTok. I, I didn't use TikTok, so I, I had no idea. But I installed the app and searched for Roblox VR. And some random girl had made a video about me just messing around in Ragdoll Engine in VR. And it, it had gone viral. I think it had over a million views on TikTok. And that's kind of where it all started. You know, I instantly thought maybe I should make a video if people are this willing to watch this type of stuff. So I did. I made my first video called Ragdoll Engine in VR. It was horrible. One of my worst videos. Probably my worst video. And it's the second most viewed. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of how it started. I did not expect to get that kind of response. I, I think within the first within the first day of uploading the video, it had already gotten a thousand views. So a thousand views in one day and then I had gained what like 50 subscribers and that was at the time that was like huge to me that was like I, I kind of thought oh my god am I am I actually going viral and yeah I ended up the video ended up going viral and that's when I got the spark to make more videos because you know I, I gotta capitalize on this success like come on dude let's make more videos so I started cooking up absolutely trash videos bad bad editing bad i was trying to pull off this kid friendly energetic adhd type persona and it just you know watching them back now that just makes me cringe a lot but that you know i i was just following i was just following other youtubers uh, i watched some other roblox youtubers videos and kind of tried to copy their person personality and their style and stuff which was not really good and that ended up be backfiring really hard even though you you guys are young i know that and even though you're young kids kids even though they're young they're not dumb they can instantly people can instantly tell when you're uh pulling off this annoying pers personality you're faking it essentially and that's bad because 
for you to become a successful variety YouTuber, people have to like you, your videos for you. They have to watch them for you. And if you fake a persona on your videos, you, you can see how that would have a negative impact on, on your views. Everyone knew me as the Roblox VR guy, you know? That I'm the funny man who went on this one Roblox game in VR mode and then, you know, petted everyone's heads and, and, and danced and some, some dumb stuff like that. They knew me as Skirmik the VR guy, not Skirmik the YouTuber. So when I tried to make non-VR videos, um, they did not do well at, at all. Which, which really showed me that people aren't here watching my videos for me, they're watching the videos for um, just the VR content. I kind of knew it, knew it since the start that um, the, the personality that I was trying to pull off and the type of content I was doing wasn't really... I didn't like it. Yeah, straight up, I did not like it. I, I cringed then, I cringe now when I look back on them. But that's what I thought would work, you know? I had this, I had gained this huge following of tens of thousands of people. So of course I, I was gonna try my best to keep you guys entertained and keep you guys watching. And uh, that failed. <laughs> After a little while, probably eight months, almost a year of making videos, um, I started getting tired of it. The the time between uploads grew larger and larger and I just didn't have any motivation to make videos. And eventually, eventually, even when I made VR videos and put VR in the title, uh, I was never able to replicate the success that those first few VR videos got. Of course, I wasn't expecting to get another 1 million view hit, but I was, you know, at least expecting maybe 20,000 or more views per video and I was barely able to get 10,000 on some VR videos and then non-VR videos got below 10,000 and that that that's eventually what killed my drive to make new videos. I decided to try make making a video one last time to maybe switch switch up my content, get some new viewers or subscribers and I tried hopping, hopping on the Minecraft hardcore trend but of course that genre had even at that point so it was so saturated so many people were making hardcore minecraft content that you know it was just a shot in the dark basically so yeah that's pretty much what happened why i stopped making videos but now things are looking better in my life i uh started a new hobby i'm not gonna go into details about what it is but it has a lot of financial potential let's say let's put it that way i also started at a new school about six months ago last spring and i moved out of my home hometown as well so i've been busy busy with that as well a lot has happened i don't know if how many people are gonna see this maybe like a couple hundred probably and to you couple hundred of people who were gonna see this it really it made me it made me it, it was a bittersweet feeling reading hearing those comments even though the channel didn't really end up working and and uh, I kind of failed as a youtuber I still appreciate you guys a lot but now with the backstory out of the way um let's talk a bit about the future and what's gonna happen next and to be honest I don't know I don't know if I want to make a video anymore if I do um do not expect it to be the videos that I used to make it, it, it's it will be nothing like them from this point on, if I'm gonna make a video, I'm I'm gonna make it for fun. I'm not gonna think about what what I should do or what I shouldn't do. I'm just gonna be me, be the normal me that I've always been. Not this hyperactive, loud idiot. And to be honest, I think that that's what I should have done from the very beginning. You know, YouTube, YouTube in general and content in general has evolved so much from what it used to be when I watched, you know, gaming YouTubers actively. Back then you could just put on a face cam and play a game without much editing for hours and then scream and that would be it. But that era of YouTube is over. And right now to make to make a gaming channel now, um, it's you're setting yourself up for failure, I think. And that's why I think um my channel ended up not working out and dying off. And the reason why I blew up was just out of dumb luck. Well, anyway, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you guys an update where I where I've been and kind of get some things off my chest. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have anything else to say. If you're still hoping for that old style of content, um, I'm I'm sorry. It's never. I don't think it's ever happening again. I'm not going back to making those kinds of videos because a lot of people didn't really care for them. I didn't care for them, and to be honest, I really didn't enjoy making them anymore. It felt more of... making a video felt more of like a chore than an, an actual fun thing to do. And I don't, I don't think YouTube should be like that. So on that note, I wish you guys a wonderful day, and I hope you find great success in life.